Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day and feeling pain free. Well, today I'm really excited to be joined by Sean McGinnis with Kuru Footwear, a company back in 2017 that I discovered when I spent almost a whole year of major foot pain with plantar fasciitis. So I've been wearing their shoes uh, since, and I love them even though my feet are doing much better. I absolutely love them. And so I'm so glad today to be joined by Sean, who is going to, he and I are just gonna talk a little bit about the company and I, I love to learn more. And uh, hopefully this video will give you some great insight, put a link and other information in the description down below. And if there's any promotions and I'll try and knock Sean around for a promotion that we can offer you. And uh, so Sean, thank you so much for uh, joining uh, me today. Thanks for having me, Sid, I appreciate it. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about yourself. When did you join the company and anything else that you could share about what, what your role is with the company? Yeah, sure. So I'm the senior vice president. Uh, I'm the head of marketing, e-commerce and customer experience. So I oversee the website component, all of our uh, marketing that, that we do um, via social media, through Google and through Facebook. Um, and in other places as well. And then the call center team, we've got a team of, uh, we call them the Kuru Gurus that are yep. standing by to take people's calls and, and chat with you on the site, um, interact via SMS, text uh, or email, any kind of question that anyone might have about any of our shoes. We're standing by um, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mountain Time, um, ready to be able to answer those questions, so. How are you guys uh, managing during this uh, fun and challenging time? You know, it's uh, it's a new reality for us, for sure. We were on a roll. You know, I joined the business in last October, since you asked. Um, been making a whole bunch of changes and building a team internal to Kuru to, to take over some things that used to be handled by some agencies that we worked with. So we're building that capability in-house. We were really, really um, humming along. We had a lot of progress and, you know, the, the, the COVID-19 virus hit and life changed for everybody. I mean, I'm really pleased to say it hasn't affected us nearly as much as it's affected a lot of other folks in the space. I'm very well connected with a lot of people in the e-commerce space and especially in the um, direct-to-consumer e-commerce space, which we would qualify for. You know, yep. we don't sell our shoes anywhere except through our website. Um, and, you know, the in this new reality, um, I'll call it fashion and, and sort of a lot of other sort of consumer goods has really taken a backseat for many, many consumers. Yeah. We're outperforming what I've seen um, by a long shot. And so, I mean, oh, it really does, to me, it speaks to the fact that we really do solve this foot pain issue for so many customers and for people like yourself, I mean, put yourself back in your shoes, seven, it's a weird phrase, a turn of phrase, but Think back to 2017 when you're in the amount of pain that you're in at the moment, right? <laughs> yep. Uh, you know, it, it, it uh, $120, $130 for a pair of shoes seems pretty expensive, but if it really does eliminate foot pain, it's it's minor compared to the alternatives in many respects. And so, um, you know, we're really blessed with a great customer base who seems to really be passionate about the brand, and that's great. And um, so, yeah. I think we were, we're, I'd say, overperforming in this moment um, and really thrilled to continue to be able to come out with new, some new, some really new options actually in the next week or two. So pretty exciting times. Oh, awesome. I can't wait to see those. Uh, that is great because you, you guys have a great lineup. So uh, I know there's going to be some new fantastic uh, shoes, I'm sure, coming out. Uh, so can't wait. Uh, I, I really want to commend you and the team. Uh, I work really closely with Annette quite a bit. She's That's been great. a huge, huge help. Uh, so Annette, if you're watching this, thank you so much. And uh, uh, just <laughs> and uh, they've been great when I've called to ask questions. Uh, I've you know asked for uh, shorter shoelaces and just so it's been great with the team. And it was interesting you're talking about pain. So yesterday I'm out walking, um, went back to my neighborhood I used to live in. I bump into a lady. She's talking about plantar fasciitis, and sure enough, she's like, I love. Kuru shoes. So uh, check out this video, everybody. This is what she had to say. Hey, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. So I'm here with Kathy, who happens to be using Kuru footwear shoes as well, dealing with plantar fasciitis. So Kathy, how have they been working for you? Amazing. I bought the boots just before I went to Europe for three weeks. Yeah. Long before the uh, COVID. And I could walk every day. I had no pain. I 
and we walk a lot every day. So yeah. I, I love Kourou's. I want some of the tennis shoe Kourou's. Yeah, they're, they're awesome. No, the, I the have quantum some... shoe. You have the quantum shoe? No. Okay, the quantum shoe is great. So, okay. so there you go. Go out and get your Kourou shoes. They're awesome. They, you will really love them. They're they, awesome. There you go. Have a great day. So, Sean, how awesome is that? I mean, what I a coincidence. It. What a I love coincidence. It. You know, it's, it's so funny. So many customers tell us, I mean, we're, we're, I'm still sort of learning, right? I'm learning. I'm talking with folks like yourself and talking with people who are big fans of Kourou. And we're, we're interacting with folks and calling them up and surveying them and get and just asking lots and lots of questions. What do you like about us? What can we improve? And we're constantly in touch. And um, the percentage of people that own either more than one pair of shoes is phenomenal. And the number of folks who tell us that they'll never wear any other shoe brand, we just completed a survey. It's a small group, but still 50% uh, of the people we talked to said they'll just never buy anything else other than a pair of Kourou's. So the question was always for our product team is, Okay, what can we do next? You know, what other styles of shoes can we push into? We get a lot of requests um, from folks like you and, and others that deal with the gurus on a pretty regular basis, asking for really specific things. Um, so we're really excited to continue the research and, and to look for those ways that we can really sort of uh, enter into new market spaces. Absolutely. Talk about the market space. Uh, you know, I, I see often people are asking, you know, is there a store I can go in and try your shoes on? So uh, I know it's a great system that you have. Any reason uh, for not opening up a store? So we do have one small store that's um, attached to our corporate headquarters. So we're located in Salt Lake City. There is a store in Salt Lake. If you look up Kuru Footwear Salt Lake City, you'll find our location. We're right off the freeway. It's pretty easily accessible. Um, I would say we just finished this conversation. I've got um, a, a plan of attack in my mind. I think I won't rule out owned and operated retail stores. It's probably still a few years out, but um, we've got a framework of things that we're really working on right now. The first is to really sort of shore up our digital efforts. Eventually, you'll probably start to hear a little bit more of us on TV and radio, kind of broad-based advertising, and then potentially we'll look at some owned and operated retail down the Great. line. Awesome. Fantastic. So when I first got started with wearing Kuru shoes, I, I got the Quantum, a lot of great color selection. When you go to the website, you'll see. So yeah. as far as, uh, and I love the new Adam, and I think the Adam's actually just gotten some awards, hasn't it? Yeah, it's it's recognized pretty regularly. So um, Runner's Magazine has that listed on one of their best walking shoes. Um, uh, there's another uh, article that, that recently awarded it some things as well. So you're talking about two of our top three sellers. I happen to have the third one, which is the chicane, which is our, I'll try and get out of the way. It's kind of a, a low cut, sound, you know, soft duty hiking shoe that yep. comes in. This is a, um, a suede version, but there's a, a mesh version as well, men's and women's colors. So it's between the three of those styles, those are by far our three best sellers. Yep. Um, People love them. They're just versatile shoes that can do a lot of the heavy duty lifting. If you're and if you need a wide, the Quantum is the shoe we typically recommend. Um, yep. Yep. Yeah. It's yeah. it's got a pretty generous toe box and the wide. And I know you're. I'm a wide too. I'm actually a a sort of a four E in men's, and so um, it's one of those areas we continue to look at of like where else can we push in terms of you know new opportunities to service our clients better, our customers. So. When I when I first started wearing them, I had the old uh, blue and green color, that lime green, and people looked at the sole. Like, wow, that is quite a sole, and it really is. And I'll tell you, these shoes are so comfortable. I you know wear and I've worn other brand shoes. When I put these on, it just reminds myself how amazing they are. So as far as the technology, you know, you go to the website. Sure. Lots talked about the heel. Anything that you can kind of share about the technology that makes Kuru footwear are so unique? Yeah, I'll do my best. I'm not going to do it justice compared to the way our CEO <laughs> talks about it. I mean, I've only been around for about five or six months now, but um, it's a really cool origin story of the company. You know, um, we don't do a, a good enough job, I don't think, telling this story, but our CEO, Brett, um, back when he was in middle school, we have actual sketch drawings on lined paper of him uh, drawing out like a shoe catalog with strike through pricing, this, you know, 13, 14 year old kid having this dream of wanting to own a shoe company. Um, and, you know, he graduated from college with a couple of degrees, went off and um, uh, got a traditional job, got laid off and said, this is the time to really take, take a flyer on my dream. 
Um, he entered a business contest, uh, business plan contest at the University of Utah up the road and won the grand prize. This is 2006. Hmm. So we've been a direct to consumer shoe company since 2009, but he took the winnings, the grand prize from that, invested it into doing some research. And really the, the main hypothesis of the business was what if we took um, typical shoe materials and, and shapes that are found in aftermarket shoe inserts and just built it into the shoe. Um, and that's what we have. We have our Kuru sole, which is this dynamically flexing thing that really is designed to cup your heel in a way that puts you in the position that nature intended. Um, the reality is that um, what most people don't really think about every day is, you know, our, the way our feet are constructed uh, in the heel of the foot. There's this fat pad that sits underneath your heel bone and is really sort of nature's shock absorber from your foot perspective. And uh, over time, when you get to be my age <laughs> and, and depending on your level of activity, that tends to degrade and, and flatten a bit. And so that's one of the major sort of causes for concern that can you know, lead to foot pain. And, and one of the major problems with foot pain is when you've got any kind of foot pain, you know, all of us know this, right? You tend to favor the other foot. And so your gait changes or you, you sort of try and take as much weight off of the thing that's painful as possible. And that creates a different sort of pain, whether it's in your back or your hip or your knees, it's all kind of connected. And so what our um, Kuru sole does is it, it dynamically flexes and it cups and protects your heel. If you think about a ball bouncing on a flat surface is the way I kind of think about it, right? The, what's the thing that always gives? It's the round thing. It's the tennis ball. It's the basketball. It's a baseball hitting a bat, right? You see that compression. And that's the same thing that happens to our heel every single day. And so the Kuru sole really does cup and protect your heel and puts your body in the best position to heal itself. You know, we're not claiming any sort of magic, even right. though we hear from customers every day. It's like magic. It just works. I don't understand it. Um, and that's great. It's, we love the feedback, but it really is about um, being biomechanically correct and scientifically sound. We put you in the position so that your body can heal itself. And that I think is what you felt back in 2017, and thankfully you you stuck with us ever since. Absolutely, uh, and 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 as far as the technology on these insoles, uh, they definitely are interesting. And it says plantar fascia bridge. Anything that makes the insole unique too? Uh, there is, but I again, that's one I definitely won't do justice to. So <laughs> okay. we actually have a new video we're working with a company to try and help us create. Um, and we've got. I, really want to get Brett, our CEO, talking about it. There's the, the reality is that's a space age foam and it um, has different densities and different components. Yeah. And it specifically is designed to put your foot again in the right position. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's one of the questions we get a lot is do your shoe, we don't talk a lot about arch support. We talk a lot about the heel protection and really every one of our shoes comes with that, um, comes with that Kuru Cloud insert. And so it, it really is, it's got different densities and different shapes in different places to try and accommodate most feet. And it does also shape to, your, uh, to the shape of your foot over time, right? So it gives, and um, it's definitely a, a core component of our, of our full platform. Gotcha, great, great. So um, then that's good information. So as far as, uh, you know, people, when they when they do research and they say, oh, I got plantar fasciitis, but what about those that don't have plantar fasciitis? Um, what percentage of your customers, or do you see any any anything as far as feedback from customers that don't have plantar fasciitis or just buying the shoes just because they're simply comfortable? Because I love them. I mean, as yeah, I said, there's, a couple, there's a couple components to that. One is that we hear certainly loud and clear from people with various different types of foot pain that we do actually help. Um, one of the things that we've um, discovered actually fairly recently, again, we get reviews every day from people who, like yourselves, who, who have, you know, worn the shoes, love them, want to give us feedback. They come in and give us a review. Um, one of the things we found out recently is um, a good percentage of folks that get diagnosed with fibromyalgia actually develop this foot pain. And a lot of it centers in the heel. And so we've had two or three reviews come back and say, oh, my gosh, your shoes have been incredible for this point. I've had this pain associated with fibromyalgia for months and months and months, and now it's gone. And so that's a really interesting new discovery that we're going to go off and do a little bit more research on and see, OK, where is that coming from and how does our shoe design and that technology really help to um, you know, put people in a position to heal themselves and, and eliminate that foot pain? The other thing that really I think you're touching on is, you know, 
foot pain and comfort are really two sides to the same coin, right? It's a, uh, we've talked an awful lot about how do we get um, the brand built in such a way that young people find out about us early and help prevent that foot pain from ever occurring, right? That's a huge potential market for us. And, you know, uh, me being the old fuddy-duddy skeptic, I look at my CEO and say, yeah, good luck with that, right? Telling right. a youngster that, you know, hey, you can prevent pain down the road um, by investing in this uh, slightly more expensive shoe than, you know, a typical pair of Nikes off the, off the street or whatever. Um, it, but I think, you know, there is, they are really highly related and correlated with one another, right? If you're, if you're positioned in, in the right way to prevent yourself from injury, there's a good, a better chance that you won't have to, de- you won't develop plantar fasciitis or any other kind of foot pain down the road. So it's about really, again, putting your body in the position to make sure that it's healing itself and it's, and it's in the right spot. Yeah, good, good information. So I know that the company has a great policy as far as, you know, because you don't have stores, people can buy them, wear them yeah. in the house. Sometimes people want to know what if you go outside and you wear them? What kind of policy do you have there? Uh, any room, wiggle room that if it didn't work out, uh, anything you could share on that end? Yeah, so uh, we offer, uh, as, as you'd like, expect any sort of modern, uh, modern day e-commerce company, right? We offer free shipping, free exchanges, and free returns. That's um, great. And, and, you know, it, to the point you really hit on, our shoes do require a little bit of a break-in period. A lot of times, I can't tell you the number of times you've heard back from customers, oh, it feels weird. I don't like it. We just say, look, just give it a chance. Wear it around the house for an hour or two. You know, if, if you wind up forgetting, you take it outside, we're going to take that product back. Um, we treat customers with the way that I would want to be treated. That was one of the big um Big wins for me would be able to join a company like this that has an incredible uh, policy with regard to how we treat our customers every single day. Our end, our net promoter scores are off the charts. People would recommend the brand almost every single time when they deal with us. I mean, you're always going to have issues. Um, our job is to stay in front of that and to be anticipatory. We try to anticipate ahead of time what a customer is going to want from us as we're dealing with those issues as they arise. And we've got mostly policies in place to be able to address those things. Um, so yeah, it, I mean, those th- those things certainly happen. We ask that you try and keep the shoes in as new condition as possible, but situations happen and things happen. And the reality is we want to treat you the way we would want to be treated if we were on the other side of the, of the phone call or the chat or the email or what have you. So um, yeah, I think it's a really generous program. It's 45 days, effectively, you know, um, practically unconditional, right? We do ask that you pr- try and return the shoes in as new condition as, as humanly possible. So we ask you to wear them around the house when you can, um, but you got to break them in. You got to get give them a really, give them a chance and, and see how they feel at the end of the day. And if you do that, we're pretty confident you'll wind up loving them. And I think from our prior conversation, you had mentioned there's some sort of program that you have uh, as far as shoes that may not be able to be resellable anything I'd love to, uh, cause I, I love what the company stands for. And so yeah. share is that. Yeah, So happy to share that. So, you know, when you're dealing with the scale of shoes that we do, I mean, there are things that come back, they're not in as new condition sometimes. And what we do is we grade those shoes, our warehouse team in, in Salt Lake is phenomenal. So the majority of our shoes ship out of our warehouse in Kentucky and all of the returns come back in Utah. And we grade every single pair that comes back and we clean them, the ones that are cleanable and salvageable. And if they're if they're resellable as new, we'll resell them as new. And if you're in the West Coast and you order something that's in inventory from Utah, we'll ship directly from Utah. Those that aren't resellable as new, we still clean them up and then we donate them to the local homeless shelter here in town. Sometimes they wind up wor- wor- working their way around the last batch we um we donated actually found its way to a local school district. And so they've got sort of a, a a really great program there for kids that are in need. You know, they've got food pantries and they've got clothing options as well. And the shoes, you know, they flew off the shelves really quickly, which is really great to see. So um, oh, we're awesome. super involved in the community and it's all part of our sort of ethos um, that our CEO instituted so many years ago. Awesome. That's so great. Uh, we're going into the summer. Just last thing. Uh, obviously, you've got a great selection for men and women. Uh, I love the flip flops. As you said, took a little breaking in. Uh, I used to I was one that didn't love flip-flops because I didn't like something between my toes. And then I yeah. started wearing flip-flops and I absolutely love them. Mm-hmm. And I really love these as well. Anything that you could share, you know, with the summer and people thinking about getting a flip-flop, a sandal shoe that makes this unique versus the market? 
Yeah, okay. that's called our Kala. That is comes in a men's and women's style. Um, it's definitely a hot seller this time of year as we head into spring and throughout summer. That includes our every piece of technology we talked about, except for the Kuru Cloud piece, the 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 you know the shoe insert, obviously. But it has the Kuru Soul component built in. It's designed to the same way that the others are to flex dynamically with the pressure that you put on it. You know, it's funny. One of the things we get a lot of questions about it's it's again as we're sort of trying to figure out what's next. There, are, to your point, a lot of people don't like um, uh, sandals with the post, you know, the toe post in there, and so that's feedback we get is they'd like to have something that's more of a strap across just the top of the forefoot. And so, we're, our product team is absolutely incredible. They're phenomenal. They're working really hard on lots of new styles. So we have three new styles that are coming out, and actually one of the women's style is coming in the next week or two. So keep an eye out for the site. That one's called the Stride. It's a very lightweight mesh. Uh, it'll come in three different colors. Um, it's going to be really, it's just beautiful. It feels like a sock almost sort of on your foot. You can barely even notice it's there. It's our lightest weight shoe in the lineup. And so that comes, and then we've got two new men's styles coming throughout the summer. Great, great. Well, I am so glad we had a chance to, to speak and share with the world about yeah. Kuru Footwear. Uh, I can't say enough about the company. Great customer service, great shoes and uh, a lot of great things to look forward to. So, Sean, thank you so much for joining me today. And everybody, stop watching this video and go order your pair of shoes <laughs> right now. Thanks, Sid. It's great to see you. Great. Thank you so much. You bet.